in this uh, session i like to uh, cover how you typically interact with the data visualization by creating your your own visualization of a data through an example of bullet chart using tableau so we know there are uh, different kinds of visualizations that are provided by tableau as a part of its uh, show me feature different kinds of visualization of the data right there are good number of options to create visualizations and i can very well do some kind of modifications of those visualizations also so that i can use the space more effectively they show lot of data in a small space that is the major intention of creating a dashboard right now in that category i look at bullet chart one of the important ways of visualizing data which does a good balance between more amount of data or a maximum amount of data i put it in a minimum amount of space so that way it can help me to plot the or to to produce a visualization more effectively and at the same time it maintains the clarity as well <clears throat> so it is primarily targeted towards replacing those kinds of charts and graphs where there is a lot of ink on them they display a lot they take up a lot of space but they do not show too much of a data so when i really require a smaller space and especially compare <laughs> compare the actual with the target this is the major intention of any bullet graph i want to compare the actual value with the target value i can very well start playing around with the bullet chart and in a tool like tableau it's a very straight forward way to create a kind of a bullet chart so let's look at this probably uh, i'll use a simple data set for this purpose right let me uh, say let me use uh, a simple data set okay i'll use this data set european union country share of renewable energies wherein this excel sheet we are talking about uh, different countries their share of renewable energy as a percentage of the gross final consumption so right from 2006 to 2010 we have some numbers and we have a target for 2020 so we really want to see whether the actuals are in line with the target or what is the kind of a deviation okay so what can i do first either i can link it right or i can do a copy paste so if i do a copy paste the difference is we have to understand the difference simply if i am doing a copy paste both will work if i am doing a copy paste it is more and more static so any change that i do in the excel sheet that would not be reflected in the tableau data sheet but if i am linking it then it is more and more dynamic even if a data change occurs in the excel sheet it is reflected in the tableau as well so whatever is the way so if i want it to be more static i can simply copy the stuff right so let me uh, copy it so let me uh, go from the copying of this entire data set so we have how many we have around uh, 32 rows of data so i want to copy this entire information 
from the excel sheet to the tableau so in case of tableau i am opening a new so this is the new and probably i can paste it here if i have copied my excel sheet i have copied it and i have pasted it here probably if you see here it is not pasted properly so this is where i can really think of pasting it more effectively i don't want to copy this row so let's say i want to copy it from here to here so i copy it this way and uh, i paste it here yeah now this is coming much better in the rows okay by default there is some adjustment that has come let's uh, look at it later but i am having the countries here 2010 6 9 7 8 9 and 2020 target so these are the values that have come here and uh, the country names have come out here when we have simply copied it so now we can very now that this data has come into tableau we can do the visualization quite comfortably and our objective is whether the countries are on target now 2010 is the latest let's assume whether they are on target to meet whether they are ready to meet their 2020 targets where well, is what how far are they from their targets as of 2010 for meeting their 2020 target how far are they from the actuals so once i copied the data i got it in this way now you could see here 2010 it has come under the dimension country has come under the dimension right but 2010 is not a dimension right 2010 is a measure why did it come as a dimension for us we don't have any we all have we have numbers only here but it is showing as a dimension so better drag it as a measure but when we dragged it as a measure it is showing count and it is still showing abc means it's still a text so what i can very well do i can change the data type of that to a number decimal now 2010 i have changed it as a number decimal but still it has gone here i can pull it here so the 2010 right now is a mem uh, is a decimal it's a, it's a number and wherever there were blanks it is taking it as null and if required i can even pull this from here so the 2010 is typically uh, copied out here now it is showing 2010 as a part of the dimension so i want to pull it into the number here okay but if i pull it into the number here right uh, i want it also to be shown as a part of one of the measures out here so i'll drag from here so this is the one that would be shown out here but by default it is showing count count discrete of 2010 so it is doing some kind of a counting for me but that is not what i want so i'll change it i don't want the count here right i don't want the count probably what i really want is the summation so instead of count i'll change it to sum the moment i have changed it to sum i have got these kind of numbers out here so if required i'll change the order the target i'll bring it down so i can very well change the order of presentation by just playing around at the measures level out here so if any of the years are appearing as a dimensions i am dragging them to the measures on the left hand side and uh, now 
we have this whole thing as a table. Right now, this is the table. I'll go to the show me panel. And uh, now I can very well choose the horizontal bars option. Now, let's see if I'm just clicking on the horizontal bars. Quick chart is plotted. 2006, 7, 8. I have year wise kind of chart. Right, a horizontal bar chart is plotted for each year for all the countries. So, a quick way to plot the stuff. Year wise for each of the columns, I got this kind of a horizontal bar. Now, I really am interested in looking at, let's say, 2010 and 20. Right, how far are we away from the target? I want to actually compare the latest value with respect to my target. So, which means all these I can very well remove. So, from here, I can simply start removing all the other years quickly. I have removed all the other years quickly. I have kept only 2010 and 20 to see how the actual is with respect to the target. Now, because there are only two, now I get a different set of uh, options out here. So that is what is talking about the intelligence of the show me bar of Tableau. Now here, I could see this kind of a graph coming up, which is what we are calling as our bullet chart, where we are talking about the actual versus the target. So this is the one which I can choose as the bullet chart. Now I can choose this bullet. Things have changed, right? Now we could clearly see on the task bar, horizontal bars. If we are looking at this one, this is talking about sort country descending by some particular value. So, I can do the sort of the country descending. So, this talks about the actual versus the target for each of the countries. So, I am able to uh, just play around with it, interact with it and I could get a result like this. Now, you could see if I, I can I can still show a lot of uh, data on the dashboard and uh, I can make things quite easy to understand. So here if you look at the thick horizontal line that we are depicting here is the actual data. Now you see the sum uh, if you if I point it here, it is showing sum of 2010 actual is 47.9 for Sweden. But the target is 49. So what you could see here, the, the blue bar is actually the actual data. And the vertical line that is next to each one of them. This is what is the target. The vertical line is actually is your target. So you could uh, see by how much extent your actual is away from the target. And if required, we can even resize this chart. Right? We, we can resize the chart so that the rows are smaller in height. So now if you want to resize it, all you can do is you can catch hold of this uh, corners. Probably make it uh, smaller. Right, the, the row is looking more and more smaller and if required you can make it uh, here also even more uh, smaller. So it is being uh, made to look smaller either uh, on the row side or the overall. Let's say I want to uh, reduce it uh, from this side, I can still reduce it to whatever size I want. Right. And I can make it as much smaller as possible. Now here, if required, I can even filter the stuff. Right now I can uh, think of filtering the stuff that I really want only, let's say the top 10 countries. 
right i want uh, the top 10 uh, countries which are having the greatest share of the energy resources so what i can very well do now i want the countries so what i can very well do the country i want to filter i don't want all the countries here i want to filter out for a few countries now this is where i get the filter i drag the country into the filter i get the list of all the countries out here now i can choose the rules out there right i'll drag it into the filter label filter panel that is located just above the marks panel and uh, here there are so many different kinds of uh, ways in which i can do the filtering probably this is one top 10 or some such kind of stuff so i'll go with the top and so by default it is none so i'll choose this one whether i want top or bottom let's say i want top again i can uh, by default it's 10 so if i want 10 it's fine otherwise if i just want only five of them i'll enter five and for whatever uh, year all the columns are being shown here so i can very well show it by 2010 2010 i want uh, whichever the ones uh, that are the highest i want them to be displayed and uh, whatever is the value for that 2010 let's say i want to uh, go with the sum or whatever is the value because it's any of one value itself or i can write some kind of a formula out here so when i am saying okay all i am getting is the top 5 countries only and depending on the need i can slightly uh, expand it or i can contract it so depending on in how much space i want the whole thing to be displayed so i move on it i get oh norway is at the top this is the target sweden is here all that kind of stuff so i can click okay now i can right click on this country right if i really want to hide this stuff i can really select this country and i can say hide field labels for the row now i i will not get the header stuff so if you look at it here i don't want this heading to be displayed so i can very well uh, say hide the field labels for this particular rows so for each if required if i if i if i can just keep only this much so norway this much sweden this much i can just uh, remove the headings and all that stuff so unnecessary information that is there from the screen the entire thing is removed and i can resize the visualization to whatever uh, whatever size i want at the end of the day this is a very small visualization so i want only the top 10 so i can make it as much smaller as possible but it is still more and more clear for us right so that is the way we can very well uh, use the different kinds of charts and here the bullet chart per se to show our visualization in a much more effective manner so that is what i wanted to cover as a part of uh, as a part of the bullet chart we trying to interact with our charts thanks a lot for listening to this uh, session thank you very much